Hey everyone, this is Joe with Algo Cleanup, and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing my Governance Period 10 DeFi strategy. So I just wanted to briefly point out um, the past APR rates for the different governance allocated rewards. So the foundation allocates a pool of rewards, which are then delineated into uh, non-DeFi participants and DeFi participants. And that's where we get these different rates. And I just noticed online that there was quite a few discussions of users not recognizing the difference in the rates or how they were calculated. I have this post that I will share in the description of this video where you can copy a free spreadsheet and run calculations and see past rewards. But essentially, uh, you can see that there's a large difference. Um, for the standard governance participants, they received a 3% APR for governance period 9. And for governance period nine, the DeFi participants received an 18.75% um, rate. And just to quickly go over how that number is calculated. In this post, you'll note that there is a link to the foundation's API. When you come to the API, it has all the relevant um, stats for that period. And this is a view of the spreadsheet. And you can see that I have formatted those stats from the API into a much more readable and uh, user-friendly format. But the most important aspect is understanding what I mean by DeFi participants and non-DeFi participants. So you can see that I have period nine selected. We can come over to the variable tabs and we can see that the algo reward pool for period nine was 32 million. And we can see that the algo rewards reserved for non-DeFi participants was 14.5 million. And we can see that the algo rewards reserved for DeFi participants is 17.5. Again, that is just coming directly from the API. And we can quickly check those numbers. You can see 32 million algo, which is the number we're seeing here. That is the reward pool. And then those rewards were divided into rewards for DeFi participants and rewards for non-DeFi participants. And so that's where you get this discrepancy in APRs. So now let's talk about the DeFi strategy I plan to implement in governance period 10 to receive this higher rate of return. Obviously, every period has a different um, ROI, return on investment, but I'm going to discuss how you can actually access those DeFi uh, rewards. My strategy revolves around three platforms. The first platform is Folks Finance, where I'm going to access their liquid governance program to receive some Gialgo. I'm then going to take that Gialgo and combine it with some Algo and commit that in a tiny man pool. And then I'm going to take those LP tokens and commit to governance through the standard governance platform. So all those Algos will be eligible for the DeFi participation um, portion of the pool. The reason I'm adding these additional steps to get the liquidity pool tokens involved is because there is also targeted DeFi rewards, which we voted on in past governance periods, which are rewards that are given directly to DEXs that could be Pact, Humble, or Tiny Man. So these additional rewards are why I take an extra step to get liquidity pool tokens. But if you are just looking to access the DeFi rewards, just committing to folks finance, in their liquid governance program will get you the majority of the way there. This is just a strategy to eke out a little extra reward. And please consider using the link to Folks Finance in the description of this video. It is an affiliate link which helps support this channel and my project. To begin, let's go ahead and launch the Folks Finance app. So I've created a new wallet just for this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect that wallet now. I'm then going to head over to the GAlgo portion. This is under the Algo Liquid Gov menu item. And you can see that I have about 4,000 algos I am able to commit. I am not going to select to be a XGov. I highly encourage you to look into that more. I'm going to go ahead and commit 2,050 algo to Folks Finance's liquid governance, which will give me GAlgo ASA in return. And since this is a new wallet, this automatically opts me into the GAlgo ASA and into any smart contracts that are necessary. And note, I did an extra 50 algos rather than a perfect 50-50 split. That is because there is a small 0.3% minting fee and also the exchanges, DEXs, when we add our liquidity to a DEX, the liquidity is never truly added in a one-to-one -one ratio, especially for algo and geo-algo. It's usually about a 3% difference. So I just added a few extra algos to my commitment to receive a few more geo-algos to try and get closer to that. Uh, proportional split. So you can see that my commitment of 2050 Algo was received by Folks Finance and I received that 2043 Gialgo in return. 2050 Algo already qualifies for that uh, DeFi rate. So I will already be receiving that rate. And you can see that under the expected rewards, the APR is 36% right now. That will obviously lower as more and more um, governors 
uh, commit to governance period 10, but then also keep in mind that the rate will also rise once the uh, window has closed because uh, governors will fall below their committed balance or fail to vote. This rate will fluctuate throughout the period, but that spreadsheet, because it's always calling the API, will reflect the current rate. So the current rate right now is 36.72% um, APR, but I wouldn't put too much stock into it. But what we have accomplished is now half our stack is eligible for those DeFi rewards, um, to access rewards from the DeFi allocated pool. Next, we're gonna head over to Tinyman. Once we're on Tinyman, we're gonna go ahead and access the DAP. This is a wallet that I haven't used before, so I wanted to dem demonstrate how easy it is to truly participate with a brand new wallet and how simple it is for all of the different necessary ASAs to be opted into um, and how seamless the process truly is. So now that I've connected my wallet with the same wallet that you saw me use on Folks Finance, I'm gonna head over to the pool tab. And under the pool tab, we can see this GAlgo Algo pool. So remember, I just received about 2048 GAlgo. I'm gonna go ahead and add liquidity to this pool now. So Tinyman does allow you to contribute to the liquidity pool through these different formats, flexible with just Geologo, with just Algo, um, but those usually don't get as good of a rate with the fees as just doing a proportional contribution, which makes sense because the pool, you wanna keep it in proportion. So I'm gonna just max the Geologo that I just received, which is that 2043, and the re liquidity required is that 1,961 Algo, which is what I was referring to, that it's not exactly a one-to-one -one as you add liquidity. So I'm gonna click confirm, and I'm gonna confirm all these transactions. These transactions will opt me into the liquidity pool ASA token that is necessary, but essentially what I'm doing is I'm sending this DEX, Algo and Geolgo in proportion, and then this allows for more liquidity to be pooled, making it easier for users to swap in and out of Geolgo and Algo. So I just confirmed the transaction, so the next step is we are going to come over to the Manage tab and we are going to click on View Pool Details. This allows us to farm our liquidity pool tokens. So if you come down here, you'll see the farming programs that are active. And note that you can actually participate in the targeted DeFi rewards for Governance Period 9 for a few more days. They, the pool actually extends to January 11th. So a way to eke out even a few more rewards right now. You can participate in both farming pools at the same time. So that way when one ends, you're already um, opted into the next one. So we're gonna click farm rewards. I confirm the transactions and you can see that um, the liquidity pool tokens actually never leave our wallet. These funds are coming from the foundation as well. So the foundation is allocating a portion of the total governance reward pool to the targeted DeFi programs which Tinyman is a part of. I'm all set up to uh, earn the targeted DeFi rewards for governance period 10. That pool won't open for another four days, but I've already opted in. And so then the last step will be to commit to my liquidity pool tokens through the standard governance platform. One thing I do just want to emphasize is at the end of governance period 10, you'll have to unwind your position, take your Geolgo out of the pool and then redeem on Folks Finance again. So Folks Finance has a weak window at the end of a period where they will redeem your Geolgo to Algo at a one-to-one -one ratio, but that's a short window where that is available. It's a week long. Why that is so important is that basically prevents the um, concern with impermanent loss, considering that at some point in the future, whether you have more Geolgo or Algo, at the end of the period, you will be able to convert all your Geolgo back to Algo at a one-to-one -one ratio. And for the final step, I'm gonna participate in governance with my liquidity pool tokens that you just saw. So I am farming those tokens, but since they never left my wallet, I'm able to participate in governance through the standard platform. And then we're gonna go ahead and commit our Algos. So I'm just gonna commit the max. So these 87 Algos aren't technically part of the DeFi commitment. So these would just be earning the standard governance DeFi return. But for these liquidity pool tokens, which you just saw me mint, I can go ahead and commit those to governance. And you can see that my commitment has gone through. You can see that 1,989 Algo um, of the committed amount are eligible for extra rewards. And that is because these LP tokens are considered part of the DeFi uh, commitment. So I have access to that pool. But you'll note that the, those 87 Algos aren't part of the um, aren't eligible for those additional rewards. In your Para app, these LP tokens will be worth around 4,000 Algo 
which makes sense because it's your GALGO and ALGO, but only the ALGO portion of the LP tokens can be utilized because only all ALGOs are eligible to dictate the proportional amount of voting power that a user would have. So I hope this helps uh, users understand the different DeFi strategies. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. I typically try and respond and be sure to check out the blog post with the governance reward calculation spreadsheet. And please consider using the link in the description of the video if you do access folks finance as it does help support this channel. Thank you and I hope you have a great day.